Are we ready? All right. Let's do this. No, no. That was gonna be my next one. <laughs> I'm getting nervous for you. <laughs> Should I go in like get a book? Brutal. <laughs> Brutal. Jigsaw puzzles have been around for hundreds of years. And in that time, they haven't really changed all that much. The materials may have changed, the piece shapes may have changed, but the basic concept of getting a box of pieces and assembling them into a final image is pretty much the same. Until now, there has been a new development in puzzling, a new way to turn jigsaw puzzles into a game. It's called Puzzle Chess, and it was invented by the Spanish jigsaw puzzlers. So I got together with Jessica and Luke from the Puzzle Republic to show you how to play. They put out a super viral video over the summer about Puzzle Chess, so you may recognize them from that. Let's get ready to Puzzle Chess. First, you'll want to pick a puzzle that's around 100 to 200 pieces. If you have kids, you can raid their puzzle stash for this. Then together, you're gonna spread out all of the pieces and build the edge. This isn't part of the competition. You can work together on this. Okay, so we're all set up, ready to go, but apparently we have to decide who goes first and how do we do that? We're going to do a coin flip, but with a puzzle piece. Okay, ah, all right. that didn't count. <laughs> ready, heads. Oh, all right. Okay, go I go first. first. Then you'll want to set up a chess clock. That's where the name puzzle chess comes from. It has nothing else to do with actual chess. You can download a free app onto your phone and the way it works is when you tap your side, the other side starts counting down and vice versa. We ready? All right. Let's do this. So basically you put in a piece and then tap the clock so that their side starts counting down and then they do the exact same thing and you keep going back and forth until the puzzle is finished. And then at the end, the winner is the person who spent the least amount of time working on the puzzle. Well, nope. Mm -mm. Our first wrong piece. Wrong, no, and then the longer I take, the more time you have to find a piece. Yeah, because you can be studying and looking for your next piece. Yeah, exactly. No, I was gonna do <laughs> that one. <laughs> now, the main rule is that you can't make islands, so every piece you put in has to be connected to the main puzzle. You also can't touch the pieces until your time is counting down. But if you try a piece in the wrong spot, there's no penalty except that you lost a little bit of time and you have to keep going until you find a piece that goes in the right spot. This game is so great because you don't need to buy anything new. All you need is a puzzle and the free chess clock app. And if you don't have any small puzzles like this, don't worry, you can still play. Just grab any puzzle that you've already put together and count out a section that's around 100 to 200 pieces. And then you can play with just a section of a larger puzzle. Or you could even play with the cutout puzzle pieces from the Gradient Cascade puzzle. I mean, the edges don't fully lock together, so it might be a little tricky, but I think you could do it. And if you're still looking for a Christmas gift for a puzzler in your life, um, both of my puzzles are available on Amazon right now with two day shipping. So you still have time before Christmas. So I think this is such a great concept and there are so many variations that you can play on it. So you can play in pairs. Uh, for this, each person on the pairs is gonna take turns going back and forth.
You can also play with a larger puzzle. Jessica and I did this with a 300 piece puzzle. Still a relatively easy image, so we put 30 minutes on the chess clock counting down. And it was definitely trickier, but it was really fun. Karen with the last piece. I don't remember anything that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're playing with someone who's not as good at puzzles, you can get creative with adding some limitations. Yeah, so I'm only going to be using my left hand, my non-dominant hand. Yes. No, nope. there. Nope. Oh no. <laughs> Should I go in like get a book? Oh <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Brutal. What? <laughs> 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 So my friends and I have been playing this all year. When we were at Puzzle Camp, we did a whole puzzle chess tournament. So the way it worked is we all did the same mini puzzle individually, and then we did the seeding for the tournament based on those finish times. And then everyone in the first round competed with the same puzzle and I got knocked out in the very first round. Oh man. <laughs> Come again. Who won? <laughs> Alright, I'm out. I'm out. Then in the semi-final, they competed with a different puzzle that was the same between the semi-final rounds. Good game, good game, good game. Good game. Oh, <laughs> down, down. Oh. And then take a look at who won the finals. Introducing our Puzzle Yay. Chess Champion! <laughs> Alright Tom, are you ready for a game of Puzzle Chess? I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> okay, so this is Puzzle Chess. Okay. It is a brand new way to race jigsaw puzzles. Remind me the last contest you, you won on speed puzzling? Uh, probably the, um, I mean, I didn't win, but I got second at Nationals. Mm-hmm. And you're playing someone who hasn't put a jigsaw puzzle <laughs> together in at least a decade, probably more. Yeah, but this will be easy because it's only a hundred pieces. It's going to be embarrassing. All right. I'm about to lose this drastically, <laughs> so, uh, sure. You know what? You can go first. That's, uh... Yeah. Off you go. Of course, we both yes. try to do this one first. Oh. No, uh, uh, sure. Oh, that was going to be my piece. Oh, no. I mean, this has the same problem as a lot of chess clock games, which is that there is an advantage to having time because while I faff about, you, as my opponent, mm -hmm. can start finding stuff, whereas I... Uh, I'm not so lucky. Yes, you got one. Didactic! That could have sounded less patronizing than what I'm saying. Yes, I opened up the cheetah for us. Oh no, wait, hang on. Uh, where are the rest of the cheetah pieces? Oh wow, I haven't even had a minute yet. Yeah, thank you! <laughs> well aware! You invite someone in to play a game and then kick their ass at it. I think we've done all the colorful animals, oh no. Oh uh, wait, I didn't have one. There we go. There's lots of tiny bits, I don't know where they go. I can't ID any of these. I found three pieces already. Congratulations! 
Oh, that was one of them. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what any of these pieces are. I don't even know what you're looking for. Try looking at the shapes of the pieces as well as... Yeah. Oh my god, I was so focused on you. I lost mine. There it is. No, oh no! Wait, I thought for sure that went there. Uh... Well, it's gotta be one of these, surely. Wait, there are more pieces left than... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. Wait. Yeah. Uh... Mm-hmm. Okay, wait, you saw me open this from I scratch. I saw you open this from scratch. <laughs> well. <laughs> There's a bonus piece. It's a duplicate oh, of that one. So someone out there is missing that piece on yep. their puzzle. Okay, so Tom, what did you think of puzzle chess? I think I was playing it against someone at my skill level. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well now you know how to play, so you can go out and play with all your other friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's puzzle chess. With the holidays coming up, this would be the perfect activity to do with your family when you're all getting together. You could set up a whole tournament like we did. So make sure that you let me know how it goes for you. And let me know down in the comments if you can think of any other fun twists that you could put on this concept. Like maybe you could hide three random pieces just to make it a little more difficult. Or maybe you put together a block in the middle and then you work your way out instead of working from the outside in. There is just so much that you can do with this. So your code word for the comments will be chess. Happy puzzling and happy puzzle chessing. <laughs>